What's up good people, I'm Marcus B Gaming, and here's an easy to follow guide for the Proven Grounds Grandmaster Strike. Likes and subs always help, and let's go. Now let's start with loadout suggestions. Warlocks with Wells and Phoenix Protocol Exotics for faster Wells is a plus. Titans with Bubbles and Crest of Alpha Lupi for more orbs dropping for faster supers for everyone. And Hunters using Tether with the Omni Oculus for more damage resistance while Invis for all is definitely the way to go. For guns, mostly mid to long range weapons like Scouts, Pulses, and Autos work. But of course, this all depends on what guns have the seasonal artifact mods for Unstoppable and Barrier Champs. Another opinion I got is, having at least one person running Skyburner's Oath for extra damage to Cabal and shooting through their shields and their boss's bubbles. For heavy linear fusions like Storm Chaser with Warp Weapon and the boss spec mod, or whatever best damage perk you got, or Sleeper Simulant, or even a rocket launcher like Galahorn or Two-Tail Fox are dope options. Don't forget a sniper damage resistance mod, your finder, reserves, and scavenger mods, along with a shield break charge mod for getting charged with light for breaking shields, and a protective light mod on the void armor piece for extra damage tanking when your shield's gone. Perpetuation mods for more class energy for using class abilities is a good move too. Feel free to switch things up, these are just opinions y'all. And here are the modifiers. The big ones are Void, Solar, and Arc Shields, more Splash, Knockback Damage, and Distance Increase, and Solar Burn for 25% more Solar Damage done, and 50% more Taken. Now, when you start up, go wide left on your Sparrow past the enemies up to these rocks and tubes for cover from most turrets, the Legionaries, Phalanxes, and the Unstoppable and Barrier Champs in the area. Stay crouched behind cover as much as possible and careful with the turret to your left when you climb up here. When you take out all adds, another unstop and adds will come out of the big door. When they're gone, it's just y'all and the boss, until you get his health down to half of course. He'll shield up and drop the shield generator and bubble. The skyburners can shoot the generator from a distance and don't forget, more adds and a champ will come out of the left door when you do get that health down. When the adds and champ are gone, get rid of the bubble and finish off the boss. Then head in, delete those legionaries in the next room, and when you make it to the big hangar room, shoot every fool you can from the opening up high, especially the two interceptors. In that room in the beginning, there's two champs, a colossus, and legionaries in the middle, and a sniper on the right and left platforms up high. You can drop down when the interceptors are done, and run to the right or left blast shields, but don't stand too close to it though, cause blast radius damage can still hit hard. Kill snipers, the colossus, legionaries, and champs in that order, and use those wells and bubbles and watch out for grenades, they gonna throw them like crazy. After those yellow bars go down, a yellow bar scion and two interceptors will be in the back now, and know that dogs will come from the left and right too. Leave the Scion alive last so you can all wait for your supers and grab ammo if you need to. Definitely kill the Interceptors from a distance ASAP. When you're ready, kill the Scion and then it gets real in the field. Two tanks will come out of the big door to the right and left. With more adds, the snipers will be back and a champ on each side. Drop a well or bubble behind cover and use that heavy to melt one of the tanks as fast as possible. Then clear snipers, then legionaries, and more dogs will come out soon. When all the nearby adds are dead, focus on the second tank and clean up what's left. Use those supers to chain orb drops and keep them coming. When the last one's down, make your way to the tread room and there's an unstoppable, legionaries, and a sniper on the left in this room. Clear out what you can from the doorway and be careful clearing out the rest. Then grab the core to open the door to the room where you deposit the two cores. Drop the core as soon as you pick it up and kill the gladiators and as that come out. And please keep your distance cause these dudes can chop suey your cheeks in one hit. Clear them and inside are two turrets on the left and on the right is another barrier champ and adds. 
Kill him and deposit the core. This opens the other door to another core room with a turret on the front left, one on the back right, some phalanxes, a barrier champ, and a scion in the back. When you clear, as soon as you grab the core, more gladiators come rushing from the main room. Inside that room is another barrier champ and adds. Deposit the second core that opens the hallway door to the elevator room with dogs, legionaries, and a barrier and unstoppable champ. Again, keep your distance and prioritize the champs. Clear them all up, ride the elevator up, and make your way to the last boss room. Drop your supers right before you use the challenge column in the middle, cause you'll get them right back when you do. The boss busts in the room like the Kool-Aid man shooting off fire orbs. Use the back tunnel to avoid these by jumping through it and to the other side. Watch out because the middle of the tunnel can be on fire, or you can shoot the orbs. Use inclines and cover from the blast shields to avoid the boss's main gun. And after about 10% damage, legionaries will drop down near the tunnel and in the middle of the room. Kill them, always watch for orbs, and chip away at the boss. At one third damage done, unstoppables will come out of the left and right doors. The boss will put up a bubble and will shoot orbs your way. You have to focus on the champs and melt them quick fast. Use a super if you have to and get them out of the way. Use that sky burners to bring down the shield while shooting orbs of course. Then more ads will drop down and do damage until she's at one third health. She'll then jump on top of the tunnel while two more unstoppables come out of the same spots. She'll put up a bubble and keep shooting orbs at you. I like to go to the front of the room as soon as she does this. Her orbs won't reach you there so you can focus on champs. She sends out 14 waves of orbs here and stops after that. So if you have guardians down, you can wait it out in res after she stops. When champs are down, pop the shield with sky burners and as soon as you do, go back to the tunnel for cover, more ads are gonna come out and you clear them and patiently chip at the boss from a distance and cover. Do that till it's over and good job y'all. If this helps or you have more tips, comments, likes, and subs help the channel. Thanks y'all. I'm out.